Recently, many iPhone users have complained that they can't download apps after the iOS 18 software update. If you have also run into the same problem, I have got you covered with some workable solutions. That said, let's get started. First off, I would recommend you to ensure that your internet connection is up to the mark. If your internet connection is below par, there is a high chance that it might be causing the problem. To do so, you have to open the settings app on your iPhone. Then you have to select Wi-Fi or cellular to check your connection. If it is possible, try using a different Wi-Fi network. Besides, I would also recommend you to take advantage of the airplane mode to fix the sluggish internet connection. To do so, you just have to swipe down from the top right corner of the screen to bring up the control center. And then you have to tap on the airplane mode icon to enable it. Then you have to wait for a few seconds and then you have to tap on the airplane mode icon to disable it. Sometimes just closing and reopening the app store can help you resolve the related issue. Therefore, I would recommend you to force kill the app and then launch it. To do so, you have to swipe up from the bottom to access the app switcher. And then you have to swipe up the card of the app store to kill the app. And then you have to launch the app store and try downloading an app. And now it's time to restart your iPhone. A simple restart can often fix many annoying issues. Therefore, I would recommend you to give it a chance as well. To do so, you just have to press and hold the side button and the volume up button at once until you see the power off slider. And then you have to slide to power off. And then you have to press the side button to reboot your iPhone. If your iPhone is low on storage, you might not be able to download new apps. Therefore, I would recommend you to check your storage and declutter your iPhone. To do so, you have to launch the settings app on your iPhone. Then select general. After that, choose iPhone storage and check if there is enough space for the new apps to download. Next up, I would recommend you to update the software on your iPhone. An outdated version of iOS can sometimes cause issues with the App Store. Therefore, it would be better to go for the software update. To do so, you have to launch the settings app on your iPhone. Then select General. Then select Software Update. And then you have to download and install the latest update. Next up, I would recommend you to check your Apple ID and payment method. To do so, go to the settings app on your iPhone. Then you have to tap on the Apple ID banner at the top. Then you have to select payment and shipping option to make sure your payment method is up to date. At the same time, I would also recommend you to ensure that you're using the correct Apple ID in the App Store. After that, I would recommend you to check your App Store restrictions and ensure that downloading new apps has not been blocked. To do so, you have to launch the settings app on your iPhone. Then select screen time. Then you have to choose content and privacy restrictions. Then you have to choose iTunes and App Store purchases option. And then you have to select installing apps and then make sure that the allow option is selected. Then I will recommend you to check the App Store status. If the App Store is down or faced with a technical issue, it won't work properly. Hence, go to the Apple system status webpage and check whether or not the App Store is working properly. Now it's time to reset the network settings. If there is a network related problem on your iPhone, it might be causing the problem and preventing the new downloads. To do so, you have to launch the settings app on your iPhone. Then select general. Then you have to scroll down to the bottom of the screen and choose transfer or reset iPhone option. Then select reset. Then you have to tap on reset network settings and confirm the action. Know that it will completely reset your Wi-Fi password, so make sure you have them saved. And finally, I will recommend you to sign out and sign back into the App Store on your iPhone. To do so, you have to launch the App Store and then you have to tap on your profile in the top right corner of the screen. And then you have to scroll down to the bottom of the screen and tap on the sign out option and confirm the action. And then you have to sign in using your Apple ID and password. And that's pretty much it. So these are the best tips and tricks through which you'll be able to fix apps not downloading problem on iPhone and iPad. Hopefully you have gotten the better of the problem. And now you have begun to download new apps as usual. If you found this video helpful, do like and share it. And I'll see you in the next video with more such handy tips and tricks. Till then, stay safe and have a good time. Bye-bye.